Hi everyone, it's me again, Cyber Sarah. I have a very special episode for you today. I'm here at the LifeTech SG showroom flat to learn all about how you can build your very own smartphone and to keep it safe from hackers. Let's go! Hi Sarah, I'm Mike, the owner of LifeTech SG. Welcome to our smart home showroom flat. Hi Mike, thanks for having us. Before we start, can you briefly share what a smart home is and what are the benefits of living in one? Sure, in a smart home, you have smart devices that allow you to control different appliances like your TV, air conditioner, ceiling fan and so on. All you need is a Wi-Fi network to connect all these smart devices together. Would you like to see how it works? Yes, please. Let's go. Hey Sarah, can you guess what are the smart devices here in this living room? Hmm, the TV? You're right, but there are actually three other devices that I can control in this living room using this smart app. With this smart app, I can control the aircon, lights, and the blinds. Wow, that's so convenient. Yes, these are actually very common smart home devices in many Singaporean households. And all these appliances can be controlled by the smart app as well? Yes, with the smart app, you can easily control all your appliances from anywhere. For instance, let's say you forgot to turn off the stove after turning it on. No worries, with the app, you can easily turn it off. There you go. Wow, so it's not only convenient, but also prevents accidents and fires. Yes, a smart home should be designed to let us live more comfortably and safely. You've convinced me. Is there anything to look out for when setting up and securing my smart home? Good question. Let me show you. One way is to first choose devices that come with better security. Try checking if the device comes under the cybersecurity labeling scheme. You mean devices with these stickers? I've noticed quite a few smart devices have them. Yes, exactly. The CLS rates smart devices from 1 to 4 asterisks according to their security features. For instance, take a look at this smart camera. It comes with a 1 asterisk rating. This means that this product comes with a unique default password as well as regular software updates. Which brings me to my next question. If my entire smart home system is connected via my Wi-Fi network, how can I keep everything secure and private? I don't want anyone outside of my family to have access to my devices. First, you should change your default Wi-Fi password immediately. Choose a unique and complex password that others can't guess easily. Second, we always recommend using two-factor authentication to strengthen access to your devices. Third, be sure to take note of the permissions granted to third-party apps during installation. Only enable access to features that you really need. Last but not least, take note of your privacy if you use a smart speaker at home. We recommend that you delete your stop recordings every 3 to 4 months and avoid pairing security devices like your camera or door lock with your speaker. Wow, thanks Mike for the smart home tour and all the useful information. I'm sure you've helped our viewers upgrade to smarter, safer and more secure homes. Most welcome. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to follow CSA Singapore for more tips on staying safe online.